But in 92 short days, I had completely reversed type 2 diabetes on a ketogenic diet, which naturally progressed. 92 days, and that naturally progressed into a more carnivore diet. We're all kind of people that are like, we got tired of being sick, right? A few, right? But, but in general, so I mean, yeah, as you get older, I think you just sort of, you know, I'm not as fast as I was when I'm 20. I hate to admit that, but it's true. Uh, so I think that, you know, part of that is that. Uh, you know, again, there's within reason. You know, if your A1C is, you know, went from 13 and now it's 5'7 or something like that, I'm, I'm still calling that a big win. And you want to look at, you know, some of these holistic things, you know, because if we had no access to CGMs or even blood glucose, how do we know we're healthy? I mean, you know, we will, you know, if you're, if you're a wild animal, you look which one's slow, which one's limping, that's what I'm going to eat. So I, I tend to sort of look at things as in like what actually really matters to people. You know, like if we had no such thing as blood testing, what would we care about? And, and not to say that blood testing isn't, isn't useful in some cases, but sometimes we get overexcited about that. Because, you know, you think about it, we're living in a time where we can analyze just damn near everything, and it's going to only get, get worse or better depending on your perspective. So we'll be having continuous glucose monitor and continuous triglyceride monitors and continuous insulin monitors and ketone monitors. It's going to drive people nuts. You know, they're worrying about every little thing about that. So now, again, if, you're, if we're talking like a hemoglobin A1C is now above 7 and you're seeing 170s, 180s consistently, then that's a different story. Then I think you have to continue to look at your overall metabolic health, how are you sleeping, what's your exercise activity like, what's your body composition like, uh, then, it's a, then it's a little bit different scenario. But, you know, when somebody tells me uh, my blood glucose went from 92 to 97, I usually say it doesn't really matter that much. So, again, I, I don't have the, the exact numbers in front of me, but that's my general perspective.